Good morning, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Sun's coming up over the witch farm here. And let me get on my faithful steed. I have taken to riding around on the platforms up here as they get farther and farther so I don't exhaust myself, starve myself to death running around. Look at this. I have a new platform. Yeah. And we're going to do something with it. What is this? No, I don't need that just yet. So. Smelting. Let me show you something kind of cool. Um, let me put this down. And put it down. Yeah, here. It will work. I don't need those just yet. We can come back for all that. All right. So, I typically built these little two furnace smelter thingies, which works, doubles the speed at which things happen, but it still takes, I don't know, five minutes, over five minutes to get a stack of stuff smelted out of it. And of course, the way to increase that is to do things in parallel. So if we go do something like this, and... Uh, let's see where are my hoppers I got a bunch of hoppers here so if we go and do something like this and go plop and then we go plop 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 and I did not invent this I saw it on Il Mango's channel which uh, it's just it's super clever uh, any furnaces I've got furnaces there they are okay, so plop 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 so that uses two hoppers. So every 10 seconds you get two items out. But if we use eight hoppers, every two seconds you'll get eight items out, which is four times as fast. Which means it takes something like a minute to get a stack of things. Less than a minute, 40 seconds, I think is what it is. So, but how do we do that? it's pretty clever so if we go and if we take some of these and we take a couple of these and we go put down a cobblestone wall here here and here and this is all temporary go put that away we don't need them anymore and we put down a rail there and there also at this point temporary and we put a minecart hopper minecart there and a hopper minecart here and we walk in between them and push them out to the side and we break that rail and we break that rail and then while we still can we get the rail out of the hoppers where'd the other one go oh there it is okay getting stuff out of these two hoppers is a pain in the butt after you do this next step so um and then i've got some glass and i've got some miscellaneous blocks and i've got some pistons so what we're going to do now is we're going to put down a couple glass blocks here and then I'm going to put a couple blocks here. A lot of the stuff is temporary. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to be really careful not to dot, nudge either of those mine carts, right? So then I'm going to put a piston there and then I put a piston next to it. Both of these pushing in that way and the the rails have to be gone at this point if they aren't you'll screw everything up and it will uh you have to start over but if we push that now these two mine carts have been pushed back against these uh cobblestone walls and notice that they're sitting partly on there's kind of sitting partly on whoops ah okay that's fine that's easy enough to deal with and if you don't get the stuff out of the hoppers oh barb's here if you don't get stuff out of the hoppers you have to break the the furnaces like that in order to get Pop, uh, in order to get to clear out the stuff so pop. okay you can get at the end ones relatively easily from the sides 
There we go. I'm still missing still missing a couple things. Where'd they go? Oh boy. Okay, we'll clean up afterwards. So the next step is a little bit more involved. Oops. Again, making sure not to nudge the mine carts. Um, and then we want to put more glass down. All right, put glass over these other blocks. And then we want to put in temporary block. And then we put down more pistons, like so. Pointing down, of course. And again, at this point, it's the danger of having of disturbing the minecarts is gone, pretty much. But you have to get in close in order to make these poppers or these uh, pistons point down and we get our redstone block and of course you can do this with a whoops the button or a lever or whatever try not dropping it and then put it here Take these out. So now what we have is we have these hopper mine carts are stuck in a block of, of glass. And they are sitting, this one is partially sitting on all four of these hoppers. And this one's partially sitting on all four of these hoppers. And the cool thing is, um, I'm missing, I'm missing some, I'm missing a couple of things. So as I said, you can get at these guys. I need 64 or something. Uh, let's, I have, I have, uh, it's fuel that I need. So these, these hoppers on the backs of the furnaces, of course, lead to the fuel slot of the furnaces. So if we place, not there. Ah. Nope, not that one. Break. Come on, do it. So we put a double chest here. There we go. And I put a stack of fuel. Look how fast it goes. And that gets deposited evenly in all eight of these furnaces look at that that's pretty cool and it does it quickly so now if I build up and build another section up here to feed it the items to smelt um, we will get the same sort of effect but hang on a second I need to clear I need to find I have missing a few things here comes the Sun Barb sleeping through the night okay so now if I put hoppers that going down into the top of the furnaces and I could put more hoppers along the top here, but we will put droppers because they're a little cheaper and I'm already using a bunch of hoppers on this thing. So if we do the same sort of thing here, we will get, we'll be able to load up the the the, uh, the smelting slot too and I have I put together shulker boxes with all the all the things to build one of these and didn't uh, some of these are um, temporary sorry it's early in the morning I'm I'm a little tired probably should have waited record this okay same deal so we put down these we go oh yeah and then we break that and we break that I love how they they spin around 
when you break the uh, when you break the rail. And in this case, um, stuff doesn't get stuck in the hoppers up here, so you don't have to be so worried about that piece of it. Um, so let's get my pistons. So a lot of this stuff, the pistons and the rails, you get you get all that back. So you only really need one set for it. There we go. And then again, be really careful not to nudge the mine carts. Come here we go. Bloop. And bloop. And then from here, I can actually put on this. Ha! Ah, okay. Get that back. Very nice. So, and I like keeping these two walls in place to, to start putting the glass on top um, and breaking it at this point. Let me lay the rest of this out and then we'll show you what we can do with that. So one downside to all this is anything you drop on here is going to get sucked up by these guys. I put in some uh, ladder here. Uh, the cool thing is anything that does get sucked up by the, the hoppers up top will just, unless it's something that can actually be smelted by a furnace, which none of those do. Oh, oh, can you smelt rails back into iron? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, if it can't be smelted by a, a, a furnace, it'll just end up in these hoppers up top. Cool. I have everything there. So let me show you why this is cool. Well, you already know. But so if I go put in a stack of fuel here, it all goes in, and the furnaces are now primed with eight pieces of fuel each. That means each of them can smelt one stack. And if I put blop blop eight stack. Oh wait, yes, one stack. But I'm not going to do that. So now up here I'm going to throw some wood into here and it goes gets sucked down same way and it ends up in the furnaces all smelting away and all the all the output will end up in here. So every 10 seconds I will get eight items out, which means it'll take 80 seconds or a minute and 20 in order to smelt all of the uh, an entire stack of items you just have to be able to break it up into uh, groups of eight in order in order not to be wasting fuel but maybe you don't care maybe you've got fuel to spare so I'm gonna slab all the top of this so that Nothing can spawn up here. Nothing can spawn on the glass. You can use other blocks here. You can use salt blocks if you want. And nothing can spawn on the uh, the 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 chest. Goodness gracious! All right. So now we've been talking for a little bit. We'll get next. Will be forty-eight. Loop, and then another eight will be fifty-six, and then sixty-four. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, I need to keep these in here. I do have some leftover bits and pieces, as I said. Some of these, like the pistons and the rails and the cobblestone walls are all, and the uh, redstone are, are temporary. These I need in the future. Oh, see, 64 charcoal. And then we can take this and just load it back up into here. Bloop. And now each of the furnaces will have 15 pieces of fuel. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So this is a great little compact unit. The only thing is you can't really expand it beyond the eight because you need, you need, it kind of relies on this minecart placement thingy. Uh, but there's no reason you can't build more than one of these. And in fact, because it kind of has a front and a back, no reason you can't build one right here with the front over here and then rearrange things a little bit 
let me uh, let me do that and show you what I'm talking about. So there we have it, complete unit with. So it's actually two of these the eight furnace smelters back to back. So it's sixteen. So if we go and do load up there and load up some fuel here. The only downside to this is you have to load all these pieces separately, and then we have two things up here for items to smelt so and I, I tried playing around with connecting like hoppers into the sides put a double chest on top it doesn't load fast enough to actually do what you want so now I come down here and instead of eight items every 10 seconds you get 16 items every 10 seconds Sometimes it goes a little slow because the, the, I redirected all the hoppers, but there are 16 items. So that means about 40 seconds to smelt a stack of items. Not too bad. Um, 32. And I'll keep going, and then I can just reload those in. So instead of going into a chest here, I had these all wrap around up here to this chest there. Look at that, 48. And we'll be done shortly. So that's that's really cool. The only downside to this thing is it's like seven blocks tall. Four or five, six, seven blocks tall. So you can't necessarily build this in a confined space, but oh look, stack already done. 14, 15, 16. Very nice. So what's the next step? Next step is let's build another one of these. So now I have two complete sets or four of those little mini uh, modules built and they're, they're all fueled up. And if I go pop up here, now I've got four, four double chests worth of places to put items to smelt. And I suspect I might have a problem with the placement. Ow of these topper minecarts i may have to redo that because it's not loading up all the stuff equally but at this point i've got 32 furnaces so every 10 seconds i should get 32 32 items out uh, so that means 20 seconds to smelt the stack that's pretty good but i think we can do better so um i don't i'm gonna have to stop for now uh, but next time, I will build two more of these here. So we will have a full 64 furnaces in action, meaning 64 items every 10 seconds, uh, provided you can load up eight stacks of stuff to smelt. But in a case where I'm trying to smelt up a ton of netherrack or a ton, ton of glass, because, you know, I want to build more of these platforms and it takes, I don't know, 10 ish stacks of glass to do each of these platforms. So that's, you know, that's a fair amount. And so if I can get 10 stacks of glass smelted in less than a minute, that's pretty good. Look at that. And here comes the last little bit. There we go. Four stacks. Four stacks of charcoal. And I have wood farm there that is pretty darn productive. So I can feed this thing all day long. I miscalculated on some of my stuff. I need more ladders. But I have a witch farm there. And there are so many sticks there that uh, I don't necessarily know what to do with. We're going to have trouble with Bob spawning on. Yes, I am. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and place some torches here for the time being. Okay. So there you go. That's my new, half of my new crazy mega smelter. And we will build the other half and I'll show it to you. And we will, we will fire it up and see what we can do. All right. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Lamp Party and I will see you next time. Bye.